G'day. Well, here we are. It's a Friday. Um, we're at uh, Barry Moon Siding in the Boyne Valley. So, uh, yeah, we've taken a day off work and uh, we're going to do a section of the Boyne Burnett Inland Rail Trail today, um, which is pretty cool. We've got like six tunnels through here. Uh, which I've seen plenty of photos, it looks epic as, so I look forward to doing that. And then we're going to jump up to uh, Bulbura National Park, and I'm planning to ride to the uh, Rangeview Camp area, um, which Andrew and I rode past last year, and camp there the night, and then come back via Dalga Road, or however you say it. So, yeah, strap yourself in. Here we are. Coasted downhill for like a minute. Look at this. How cool is that? Incredible. Yeah, more incredible scenery. That's just epic. Feels like I've only been riding for five minutes and this is just insanely good. So, I read about this bit in the book because apparently, uh, I don't know if all of them, but some of these were actually blasted from both ends. And one, this one in particular, they didn't quite join up. It's pretty close though. Did a trick. Once again, amazing. It's so good. I haven't even travelled two kilometres. And this, this is fucking great. Here's the first bridge on the trail. Very nice. So, I don't really know where we are. We're somewhere south of Annie Peak still. I haven't seen that place yet. And uh, yeah, definitely a bit more overgrown in this section. Still, still quite lovely, but uh, yeah, once you get past the glitz and the glory of the tunnels and the views, certainly not as much uh, slashing and maintenance, but uh, no doubt there are only volunteers, of course, so you can only do so much, can't you? Well, here we are, it's the uh, Many Peaks Weir. Obviously built uh, probably primarily to water the trains back in the day. But uh, they say they probably draw drinking water out of here as well. And here's the Many Pinks Peaks water tank. What a surprise. Time it is, it might be 
two o'clock or something. Just stopped at a bullion at the uh, cafe there for a iced coffee and got a date loaf. And uh, yeah, it's been amazing so far. This rail trail is spectacular. Um, it feels like I've been coasting downhill for like 20 kilometers. But now there's definitely some uphill coming. So, uh, Bilbura National Park, here we come. Oh man. So I've been climbing up and up and up. Still got a way to go. Um, here's a good climb, but I know it's very humid. Haven't been riding much. Buggered. So, uh, apparently, Bilbura National Park is dedicated to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy. Good to know. Well, I'll have a quick breather and keep on going, I think. Magic thick scrub. About 10k's from Rangeview Camp. Just sort of stop and actually filtered some water because I saw this puddle and a bit of a creaky thing here. Um, the puddle was actually down there, it was a little bit nicer looking than that, but I've filtered it. I've got it in the bag so I can filter it because uh, it's so hot I'm charging through my water like you wouldn't believe. So, um, yeah. Times. It's raining. Good day. Well, this is rain for you. Look out. Probably a little bit misty today, but we're here, and the camping area is just a little bit further. And hopefully there's no bastard there, but we'll find out shortly. I am completely busted. That was so hard. But we kept on going. I've probably never pushed my bike as much as that before. Um, yeah, just busted. But pushing your bike is still forward progress. So, yeah. The rain is gone, and uh, the sky is blue. It's probably no better. But, uh, yeah, this is. A lot of people obviously come in here, but uh, extension, shall we say, the camping area. And uh, what an epic spot. So I want to try and set up somewhere here. That way I can get a bit of breeze coming up the valley. If we keep the mozzies away. But yeah, epic spot. Which is. Uh, reward for the toil oh man mm. that, that doesn't come this way oh, it looks it'll go go above me hopefully I ended up setting up at the, uh, the lookout actually, uh, a bit flatter and uh, closer to the edge here to get a bit of breeze to try and keep the mozzies away, not that it's really working. But yeah, it's nearly dark, just got the tent up 
and uh, you're going to have something to eat shortly. Better do that before I get wet again. Or wetter. Um, just thought I'd share this. Um, so I've had my classic tuna and bean mix in a sachet on some tortillas. And I brought a Whitaker's Coconut Rough bar. Oh, potato. And of course it's melted. And I had a spare tortilla for dinner. So I squeezed that sucker out and I got desert coconut rough tortilla. And it's pretty darn good. Get your heart out. Well good day. Well, it's Saturday morning. Had breakfast, we've packed camp. Um, didn't rain at all last night until the very early hours of this morning. I've um, got a lovely light show all night with the storms to the east. I did have a bit of a view earlier, but now it's all, uh, all fog. And just a bit of a breeze. It actually was a little bit uh, coolish for a bit. But, uh, Breeze is up now, which is good. So we're packed, ready to go. Um, original plan was just to backtrack the way I've just came yesterday, Arvo. Um, but this is a loop road, and uh, I figured the loop back around is shorter. Although I know there will be hiker bike there, but I did that yesterday anyway, so I might just take the shorter route back down. Um, the road is closed, um, but um, it was last time we went through as well. But fat bikes can get through. But yeah, no, it was uh, not a bad night's sleep. All things being equal, so. And the uh, lookout's a pretty epic camp spot. Let's do it. So lush and green vines everywhere. Got the, the gums in the morning sun. Lovely. Well, here we are. This is Granite Creek. And uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, filter some water. I don't have much on me, actually. Well, here we are at uh, Zamia. Camp area, no one about, that's okay. So I've just uh, descended down to the Granite Creek, got some water there, pushed my bike for most of the way back up because it's steep as and full of humidity and a little bit of rain overnight, everything's wet. Uh, the track's mainly clay and rock, so it's pretty slippery. Not a lot of traction going on. So uh, even if I did have the energy to ride it would be pretty hard so major hiker bike but I should be pretty much up the top now from memory there wasn't much of a descent to here from when we last visited and then we've got the big glorious downhill which is very looking forward to so I'm just going to take a breather and uh, have a bite to eat and then we'll keep going and here we are the descent just got to be careful because I've only got one hand to use but, uh, yeah, where I was suffering yesterday is uh, just gliding downhill. There we go. Let's go with that. All right, Dalga Road. Let's see, we see what we find here. Looks like it sort of goes through a valley and then joins up with the Cow Power Road. Um, but yeah, keen to check this one out. So let's uh, see what we find. Well, oh, Dalga Road's been lovely so far. Clearly an old road that's just meanders through the countryside. So it's very enjoyable. So 
pretty much following the valley. A little bit of shade here too, which is nice because the sun's starting to poke out. It's getting a bit warm. Mighty Kalan River. A lovely little camp spot here. No camping here today though. And I think it's, well, it's not state forest here anyway. I think it's still freehold, but yeah, I might have a pause here and uh, I'll even see if I can grab a bit of water and uh, keep going. All right, here we are on Kelpow Road. Flat at the moment. Depending on where this comes out, I can't quite remember. We might have a couple of big climbs up here. We'll see what happens. But uh, Delga Road, which was back that way, was uh, spectacular. Really uh, glad I chose to do that. Because I could have just done the rail trail back, but uh, no, definitely worth it. All right, onwards. Well, that's Cowpower State Forest. So, I'd like to say I rode all that, but uh, pushed most of it. So, I'm getting about 44 degrees on the Garmin. And, uh, yeah, completely exposed there, no shade, so. Hot as buggery. This video is just going to be uh, turning into me just having a winch, I think. So, we're pretty much at the top, I think. I'm just having a spell in the shade. And, uh, the last few k's to go and we're done very close to Barry Moon siding now so we've gone past the cow power recreation area and uh, got this lovely uh, more open country nearly there Well, made it back. Barry Moon siding. There's the van. That was epic. Um, it was really hard, but it was really good. Um, yeah, it's a bloody good loop. Probably be better in a cooler time of year. It wouldn't be such, such a gut buster at the moment with the storms around. The humanity is just off tap. So, but the uh, rail trail where we are just here is so good. Um, you know, I've only got a couple hundred metres here, and we've got tunnels, and uh, the views are spectacular. So, part of me actually thinks you're doing the, one of the highlights straight away. It might be better doing it backwards. But, um, yeah, that's it from me, and I've got to pack this bike up and drive home. Over it.